Hey GearFacts friends, today we're looking at a drum kit that I put together with bits and pieces that I found from various shops. The essential and most important thing though is the Yamaha DT Explorer Brain. I'm calling this the Franken kit because everything fits together quite awkwardly, but essentially it's a functioning organism. Sorry, the recording level is up a bit high. I just wanted to test all the pads with the first three kit programs. Okay, so all the pads are responding. It's a shame that the brain has to sit so far and so down towards the back. It's a lot of reaching and the Huxley frame has slim metal bars. So I had to use strips of rubber to help those broad Yamaha clamps get some grip. Results were good, not great. Let's hear some more sounds. vinyl kit. This one's pretty weird. <laughs> Next one up is vintage kit. The original Yamaha black pads have a really nice bounce to them. In contrast to this semi-responsive snare drum which was made by Legend. Mixed indeed. This next one's a bit more practical. Ah, backbeat. Could be a good practice tool. Okay, that's just an insult to funk. Sorry, everyone. World kit, this will be fun. I like it when the DTX Explorer lets you get a bit creative like that. You've got to be really steady to play techno. Let's move on. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I really like that one. More creative stuff, very nice. This next one is really fun, Tabla Kit. This is such an expressively fun kit to play. And very velocity sensitive, very melodic. Next is reggae, watch me murder this noble genre. And now let's murder some jazz. And we'll play it out with a bit of Latin percussion. Demo tune. Yeah, we won't listen to that. There's a metronome. Decay control for each sound. and a cutoff control. And that's it friends, my Franken kit based on the classic Yamaha DT Explorer. Sorry about the bad playing, leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about the kit I mean, not the playing. Thanks for watching Gear Facts.